Okay, so earlier I did a video on this setup here. And, uh, and, and it's an easy one to do whenever you have what I call the helicopter handle. You know, it comes out vertically but spins horizontally like a helicopter rotor. Um, but what happens if you have a different kind? So now I'm working on this one. Not only does it have where it comes out horizontally and spins vertically, but the whole thing will pivot to lock into place when you're driving and pulling it. So you have to account for all of that. And the cap, bless you Harbor Freight, uh, the cap for this disappeared one day when my brother-in-law was using it. So he took a tennis ball over it and tied it on and it worked well. But I want to put a cat something on it so I can drop my lines into it instead of having them hanging here. So now we're going to build one for this and I'll show you how so it's done. So we're using kind of the same thing we did before. We have two inch schedule 40. I just happen to have some laying around. Now we also got a clean out cap to go on it with a plug so that when we get it all put together, this will go over the top so you can open that up and be able to grease your gears in there and take care of it. And then close it back up and keep it sealed so you don't get a bunch of water in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to make a piece that will go around this, but also come up both sides. We're going to have to cut a groove out of both sides to go around the handle. And then this will glue on over the top of that. So, let's have what I'm doing here is getting it stuck. I figured out how far down I want it to go to catch where the handle goes through. I stuck the cap on. I got a pencil in my mouth. Put it down so that I can look inside and see about where it's going to. See, it's over on this side right here. It's kind of like almost all the way up. That's a crooked cut that I'm working with, but it's okay. It's going to be inside. Who cares? And then I can take this and hold it against there and go, yeah, that'll work. I can fit that because this goes around it. So I can put my, put this somewhere just below that. So that's the top edge of where this, this piece is going to go through. So what I've done is I've notched this, I cut it down with this saw, just straight down, and then I got the needle nose and busted it off. So I have a, this is where the arms go through, but it's just a little bit narrow, which is fine. So I'm going to use this forstner bit and open it up, so it's just below that line on both sides, and that should fit right around the handle, the uh, crank handle on that thing. See if I can do this without killing myself, right? I know people are not being safe. Oh yeah, and I cut it all the way down this side here so I can spread it out to put over the over the jack. Um, I would advise that you don't split it down the side until you drill the hole. I'm trying to do it slow and safe doesn't bind up too much. I can cut that little dab there out with a knife. That's no big deal. there anyway let's go see if it'll fit on now or if I gotta start all over again let's see if it's gonna line up yeah it should line up all right wait right here give me a demo bar to spread that apart with 
Oh, good. Now we're getting messages while we're trying to talk. That was neat. Messages on my son's phone. I don't know if that's going to fit around there anyway. You move up here so you're out of the way. So it's got to come on. See, the last one I could put it on over the top. This one I can't because of these ears coming out. <clears throat> those ears, those ears. Well, it took both of us to get it there, but we finally got it on. Now all I gotta do is glue the cap on top like that and then cut my little tubes and put them on. So I'm putting two on it because to fit it into my truck, I have to use one of these. But when some of the family borrows it, they just use that plug. So I'll have a small one on one side and a big one on the other side. And we'll show you that as we go along. So there we go. We got uh, the big one on the back side for the big plug. And when I'm not using the big plug, I'm going to use the little one. Since it's shorter, I put that one on the front so it won't reach the back. And it's this way so that when you lay it down, it's still out of your way. And you fold all this down. So it should uh, clear no matter which way we go with it. You got your cap up here so you can get in there and add some grease to the to your gears if you want to. And uh, it's complete. There now. you go. A little bit of... I think we spent three bucks on these two pieces to combine today. And then I already had the PVC laying around. So it's fairly cheap to build these things. Enjoy.